Do you ever wonder as you wander through the wilderness, just what are these seashell fossils in Ohio? Hi everyone, it's Carrie from the Wilderness Center. And if you're like me, when you're out walking the trails or at the park or even your backyard, if you find a fossil, it's like finding a little treasure. I know I've been doing this stuff for years and I still get excited when I find one. So today I thought I would show you a few of my favorites. First, why do we even have seashell fossils in Ohio? There's no ocean here, but there was. We know this because of the fossils that we find. Geologists like to say that the present is the key to the past, and by comparing things that we see today, we can learn about things from our Earth's past. For example, this is a modern bivalve. That just means it has two shells, like a clam or an oyster. And this is a fossil of a bivalve. I know that the modern one lives in the ocean, so the fossil one must have also lived in the ocean. Geologists have figured out that if you lived in Ohio 400 million years ago, you'd need some different gear because what we know as Ohio now was actually a shallow sea near the equator. In that shallow ocean lived some pretty cool animals. This is a brachiopod. They are not extinct now, but they're rare. It looks a lot like a seashell because it is. This critter is a very common fossil found in Ohio because they were very common in our past. Here is a fossil brachiopod. The shells came in different shapes, but they all had perfect symmetry when you look at it from the top. Now these guys spent their lives attached to the bottom of the ocean floor in something called a pedicle and just ate like this all day long. This is a crinoid or a sea lily. Again, they used to be very common and now they are rare, but not extinct. This weird thing looks like a plant, but it's actually an animal related to the starfish. The stem of the animal is made up of hard disks that look like stacked up pennies. When the animal died, the stem usually broke apart, leaving this common fossil. Here's the stem of a crinoid that hasn't broken apart, but these are kind of hard to find. You're more likely to find a perfect little round circle in the rock, just like that. And if you find a good one, you'll see a star shape in the middle. That's how geologists know that these crinoids are related to starfish. But unlike starfish, they don't move around the ocean. These animals stayed in one place on that stem and waved their feathery arms through the water and fed themselves. That's all they did, which makes them my winner of the laziest ancient animal of the day. Yay! And on the bottom of those ocean floors dwelled a weird looking animal that is extinct now. Not a dinosaur, but the trilobite. Finding a trilobite fossil isn't easy, but they are Ohio State fossil, which means they're really special. They don't have any direct modern relatives, but they're more like a lobster than a fish. However, don't try to order one at your next fancy meal. If you're wondering where to find fossils in Ohio, it depends on where you live. Your best bet would be to do an internet search for your local area. And when you do find a place, you need to always ask before you collect. This is an important rule anywhere you go. If you do make a trip to the Wilderness Center, I invite you to head out to our rock walk and check out our collection pit. One of my favorite activities to do with fossils or rocks of any kind is to paint them with water. I mean, rocks look great as is, but when you add a little water, they get brighter and even more amazing. And all you need is a paintbrush and some water and some rocks. Let's check out this um, fossil sample from down near Cincinnati. And even though it's cool as is, watch what happens when we add a little water. Once you start looking for fossils, you'll find them all over the place. Sometimes you'll even find them in the buildings around town or even in the building here at the Wilderness Center. You may find other animals that we didn't even learn about today. Just what were those things? Something to think about until next time when we wander and wonder through the wilderness again.